Hello, welcome to Logan's Story. Per usual, this is a Disney movie rant. showed me the whole kingdom and i'm gonna rule it all <laughs> yes well forgive me for not leaping for joy bad back you know ankle scar when i'm king what'll that make you a monkey's uncle <laughs> you're so weird you have no idea as always we're gonna talk about three main things When talking about Lion King, it's probably one of the most famous Disney Renaissance movies rather than most famous movies. One of the most famous, at least. When you go back in cinema, you think of the greats, Star Wars, Godfather, and get this, Lion King. So in which case, it would be only viable to talk about this last, right? It would be only viable for me to discuss this with you last. Why is this the last one? And why am I not bringing up these movies? Well, because here's the thing. These four grain movies is what established everything after it. And while Hercules is pretty great, Tarzan, same thing. And a bunch of other really great Disney Renaissance movies. There's a one thing about this specific movie that seems to trend over every single thing. When was this movie made? Well, it was this year that a transitional period was happening in cinema. Or this transitional period from 1993 and on was a forever changing, ongoing process of which means that, generally speaking, Lion King and traditionally drawn animation was going from this to let me look you over to this. So, if that is the case, then what could we possibly talk about? Didn't I just talk about everything I want to talk about? Well, we're gonna have to get into number one. This is a very interesting story nonetheless. Why? Because it's a Shakespearean story. It's one we've heard before, but with its own elemental feature. Yes, is there an uncle? Yes, is there a king? Yes, is there a soon to be king? Yes, there's all of these things. But what makes this different from really any other Disney Re Renaissance movie? They're lions. <laughs> They're lions. Hey, shut up! <laughs> you hear that right? They're lions. Which means... This is strange. It's already strange off the bat. Who would want to see a story about talking lions? How could you make something so animalistic, realistic? How could you make that so understandably human? Well, judging by a couple of scenes that you may be aware of. Dad? Mm. We're pals, right? <laughs> right. 
and we'll always be together, right? Simba, let me tell you something that my father told me. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. You must never go there, Simba. But I thought a king can do whatever he wants. Oh, there's more to being king than getting your way all the time. There's more? <laughs> Simba. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. As king, you need to understand that balance and respect all the creatures, from the crawling ant to the leaping antelope. But Dad, don't we eat the antelope? Yes, Simba, but let me explain. When we die, our bodies become the grass, and the antelope eat the grass. And so, we are all connected in the great circle of life. Why not? Simba, Simba, I'm only looking out for the well-being of my favorite nephew. Yeah, I went there. Listen, it's a great, great movie. There's a lot of elemental features in what makes this great. Yes, it's a Shakespearean story. Yes, there's a bunch of like memorable songs thus featured. But there's a lot of other things to this movie too. This is a shorter one, so I want you to be buckled up and understand this very clearly, okay? Number two. Why is this one of the greatest ever? One of the greatest movies? When you think back to the Disney Renaissance, you immediately, almost immediately think Lion King. Why? Because out of these two movies, out of these three movies, it was the most human. Do you hear me? It was the most human. How, Logan? How? 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 Well, we all have wants and desires. That's understandable. But here's the thing. We've all experienced some sort of death in the family. Maybe not most, some of us, but most of us have. We've all lost our path in more, in more cases than once. I lost my path tonight, but I regained it. You have to understand. There's so much human in our in our lives that we forget that sometimes the movies are showing us how we're human. Do you understand that? Because at the end of the day, we see and we will reflect from the movies we see. During the 90s, there was a lot of stuff happening. There was a lot of change happening, going to the transition from the 80s to the 90s. Disney was at its peak at the 89 mark, and that continued to grow from there. Why? Because out of these two movies, out of these three movies, it was the most human. Do you hear me? It was the most human. How, Logan? How? 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 Well, we all have wants and desires. That's understandable. But here's the thing. We've all experienced some sort of death in the family. Maybe not most, some of us, but most of us have. We've all lost our path in more, in more cases than once. I lost my path tonight, but I regained it. You have to understand, there's so much human in our, in our lives that we forget that sometimes the movies are showing us how we're human. But besides the pop culture reference that I just relayed upon you, what is the third thing? What can I possibly close with with this wonderful, wonderfully based movie? Well, let's see. <clears throat> There's a lot of big things that happened in this time period as well as any Disney Renaissance movie time period or any Renaissance movie time period. Sometimes the best things are saved for last. Sometimes you have to wait for the best thing to come. 
Sometimes you have to wait for the things that matter most to you to come right to you. I made a lot of mistakes on this path, but one thing I didn't make a mistake on, and this is how I know I, I didn't, is this YouTube channel. Because at the end of the day, my friend, I'm doing these videos to make sure you understand that the originality is still out there. And we can still get to that sense of originality. But you know what makes originality so important? Humans. We have these things up here and these things down here. There's this, There's a reason why this is here and this is here. And there's a reason why this works in spite of this and this works in spite of this. We can do this. I made these videos so to get these things out here to show you examples of what we could possibly make and what we came and what those movies came from as a result of those dark ages to now. Lion King is not at the end of the road. Star Wars was not the end of the road. There are things that are not at the end of the road and God forbid Fast and the Furious 25 is not the end of the road. That was pretty clever. But listen, I want you to understand this. This is purely meant for the soul and purely meant for the heart and purely meant for the minds who are willing to put in the work to make original stuff and make it on a grand scale, whatever that grand scale is. Do your best. Take these videos, use them as advice, use them as motivation to get you to go on that sense of originality. Because humans make originality. So, like I said, like I've always been saying, and I'll continue to say, if I do choose to redo these Disney Renaissance movie reviews, what makes this film so amazing? It's original.